Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is still the 1st of January 2024. Uh, I got, I just started the generator. Uh, it is about quarter after five right now. The batteries were sitting uh, 56%. So, not horrible. Uh, it was so weird yesterday. I'll, I'll tell you this real quick before we get into the topic. So yesterday, I look and I'm like, okay, the batteries were in the 50s. I'm like, okay, I'm going to run the generator. So I run the generator, and uh, I literally ran the generator for an hour. And uh, I went out and checked, and I said, well, let me see where it's at. And I went out and checked, and the batteries were sitting at uh, 90%. I was like, wow, that was just a quick jump up. Um, when it's really, really low, when I get down to that 5 and 10%, uh, 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 now see, that's why we're, we're losing the tarp. That's why we're losing the tarp. That's, that is not a play toy. That's to hold the tarp down. Look at her, she's got the other one. She just ran off with it. She's a nut job. Um, but um, yeah, so that's, uh, when the batteries are super low, it takes forever uh, for that to, uh, you know, to get squared away. And she's making her rounds now, getting her running in. <laughs> I love to just watch her run because she's she's just so full of energy, and she's three years old, so she's a she's a good dog. I can I can tell you, folks, best dog I have ever had, absolutely the best dog I've ever had. All right, so let's actually get into topic here, folks. We have um, I don't know if you saw this. I don't look. So again, I. I saw this, I don't know how true it is, but I thought I would address it anyway. Um, you guys in the comments can let me know if there's factual information to this, because if there is, I have a problem with it. Um, I heard that uh, they are taking away veterans benefits, cutting veterans benefits, to use that money to do health care for illegals. Now, if that's the case, all right, I have a huge huge problem with that because simple fact uh, we need to take care of our veterans before we take care of anybody else um, there's no doubt about that uh, as far as I am concerned uh, we should not be worrying about the illegals the illegals what we should be doing is deporting them right back across the border and making them Mexico's problem because they're not our problem uh, I'm so sick and tired of this and then you have you know these sanctuary cities are now all complaining, uh, Chicago, New York City, uh, Washington, D.C., you know, all those places are now complaining, and they're like, oh my God, we're, we're being overwhelmed. Well, if you think you're being overwhelmed in Washington, D.C., New York City, and Chicago, what do you think it is across the border in Arizona, in California, in Texas? What do you think it's like for those states? Uh, this is just, it's gotten to a point of being absolutely ridiculous. And I'm like, you know, I'm beyond over it. And remember, I want you guys to remember who was put in charge by Biden to deal with this crisis. I want you to remember that. This I know for a fact who was put in charge of this. It was Harris. What has she done? What's going on? What's different? And here's something else that I thought was also funny, that now all of a sudden Biden is building the wall, right? The border wall. Biden's now building the border wall. So, you know, I'd love for somebody to explain that whole thing to me when, you know, we need to take care of Americans, period. First and foremost, if you want to come to this country, you come to this country the right way, like a lot of people have done. They've gone through the process, they come in here the right way, they just don't come in willy nilly, and then, you know, and you know, I'm, I'm hearing also, and again, please tell me if I'm wrong, um, I'm not saying that this is 100% fact, but I heard they're giving these people like $5,000 gift cards, you know, uh, vouchers and all kinds for hotels and everything else, which again is ridiculous. These people are not our problem. We have our own problems here. All that is is a drain on our society. It is a drain on our system for the people here in this country. 
Uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It should not be happening at all. And so, you know, like I said, I again, I would love to hear your guys' feedback. I'd love to hear what you have to say, what you think of this situation. Uh, do you think that there is a problem that needs to be addressed? Do you think that the government needs to be taking care of these things? We're going to walk over here real quick because I just went and collected eggs and they were all working their way into the coop because it is that time of night. So I want to see if anybody is still out or if they've all actually gone to bed now. <sighs> Let's see, I think they've all actually gone to bed now. So if that is the case, and it looks to be the case, we're going to go in and we're going to lock these guys up. While we're right here, you stay. All right, go on, get in there. Go on, get in there now. Find your spot. So somebody had asked um, in the in uh, the comments. They said, well, why do you lock them up at night um, if they're in a secure area? And the reason for that is with the door shut like that, it's going to keep it warmer inside the coop for them, number one. Um, that's the number one reason that we do it that way. And the number two reason that we do it is because it's another layer of protection uh, for the chickens themselves, you know. If, if let's put it like this, if a predator really wanted to get in here, a predator could get in here. All right. Now we got the blocks around a hole outside here now, and we also got blocks on the outside here as well. So I want to see when our next big windstorm happens, um, how well everything holds up. We'll have to see how that does. But uh, you know, right now it looks pretty good. And uh, but but yes, that's the reason why uh, we do that with the chickens. It keeps them warmer, and again, it's another form of protection for them. Um, like I said, a determined predator is getting in there no matter what. Uh, my coop in New York, they're not getting into my coop in New York, but uh, we will be building something for the chickens. So there's another thing you guys can put on the list when I was talking yesterday of what we want to get accomplished uh, this year. Uh, getting a chicken coop, a permanent chicken coop built for the chickens. So anyway guys, it's starting to get dark and you're not going to be able to see so much so good anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is 527. So there we go. Uh, remember folks, we truly are all in this together. Yes, Hella, I see you. Um, she's, she's nudging the crap out of me. Just so you guys know. I said, yeah, I see you. Yes, I see you, miss. Yeah, I know. i got to have my attention. Um, remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we figure that one out, we truly will be in better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least... STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, I don't even know where we're at, so we're going to see this together. Uh, already up to 60. See that? Already up to 60%. All right. Uh, you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. The only one stopping you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day. Have a good night, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.